We all know that other than Earth, the prime prospect for hosting life is the red planet, Mars. But what if we told you that there's a moon in our solar system that might harbor life beyond our wildest imagination? Located millions of kilometers away from Earth, this mysterious moon is Europa. Today, we are going to reveal the 12 must-know facts about NASA's mission to Europa, the Europa Clipper mission. Did you know who discovered Europa? And why is this moon so special? To find out, we will have to journey through time to the distant past where it all started. It was the 17th century. The world was unaware of most of modern physics and astronomy. And so, it was the era of the renowned astronomer Galileo Galilei. It was the 7th of January in the year 1610. Galileo was peering through his telescope when he observed a bright source of light within the planetary system of Jupiter. He made an astounding discovery the next day, which history remembers as the day Galileo discovered one of the most important moons of Jupiter, Europa. Europa is no ordinary moon. It holds an ocean so immense that it would make even the largest bodies of water on our planet look like mere puddles against it. Untouched by human eyes, this moon might carry the long hidden evidence of life. Without further ado, here are 12 interesting facts about NASA's Europa Clipper mission. Fact number one, Europa Clipper will explore the vast hidden ocean. Europa Clipper's major objective is to find out whether Europa's hidden secrets hold the potential for life to thrive. Over the years, various missions like Pioneer 10 and 11, Voyager 1 and 2, Galileo, Juno, Cassini and New Horizons have conducted extensive research, providing solid evidence that Europa hides a colossal ocean beneath its icy exterior. Gosh, that must be a treasure of sight, right? Scientists are fascinated by the possibility that Europa's ocean may hold twice as much water as all of Earth's oceans combined. This mind-boggling discovery has sparked curiosity and excitement among researchers. And why not? That's an incredibly compelling reason to be excited. Fact number two. Clipper's advanced scientific instruments will confirm if the assumptions of liquid water are correct. A scientific instrument named magnetometer will confirm the existence of Europa's ocean while also measuring its depth and salinity. It won't stop there, though. This scientific device will also gauge the thickness of Europa's icy shell. And you know what's even more interesting? The magnetometer will dive into Europa's ionized atmosphere, getting a sneak peek into the mesmerizing interactions it has with Jupiter's atmosphere. Fact number three, the spacecraft will take a year to adjust its orbit around Jupiter. Europa Clipper will reach its destination on the 11th of April, 2030. Imagine the wonder when the spacecraft finally arrives at Jupiter after completing a journey of over six years. With anticipation in the air, Clipper will gracefully slip into a long, looping orbit around this gas giant. Over the course of a year, the spacecraft will meticulously adjust its trajectory, fine-tuning its path to ensure it comes close to Europa. But wait, why will Europa Clipper orbit Jupiter instead of Europa? That takes us to the next one. Fact number four, Europa Clipper will orbit Jupiter instead of Europa because of the danger of radiation. Instead of risking the dangers of radiation, Europa Clipper will gracefully orbit Jupiter. Why so? Let's understand. Because of its massive gravitational force, Jupiter plays host to an impressive collection of moons. And among so many of its celestial companions, the most known are the wonderful Galilean moons. Four magnificent moons named Io, Europa, Ganymede, and Callisto. Each moon possesses its own unique features and characteristics. Known for its restlessness and fiery volcanic eruptions, Io is the closest to Jupiter. And just a little further out is our Europa, the moon of mystery and potential, covered in an icy surface. Now, the thing is that Europa is tucked deep within Jupiter's magnetosphere. This is the protective shield created by Jupiter's strong magnetic field. This magnetosphere is filled with charged particles, zipping around in the form of plasma. 
and these particles pack enough energy to fry a spacecraft's electronics if it were to stay within this magnetic bubble for too long. So beware, Clipper. You are better off orbiting Jupiter. Fact number six. The spacecraft will use the gravity of Mars as well as Earth. Riding on the powerful wings of a SpaceX Falcon Heavy rocket, Europa Clipper will take off from the Kennedy Space Center. And from here on, starts the exhilarating journey of the Europa Clipper spacecraft. Passing by the red planet Mars, the spacecraft will swing back towards Earth and harness the gravitational forces of both cosmic giants to reach its destination. Using this method of gravity assist, Europa Clipper will acquire the momentum it needs to navigate through the solar system. Having planets as the layovers of your flight journey is one hell of an adventure. Super thrilling, isn't it? Fact number seven. The main aim of the mission is to investigate signs of life on this moon. NASA's mission Europa Clipper has three primary scientific goals. One, to uncover the hidden secrets of Europa's ice shell. Two, to explore the mysterious ocean hiding beneath it. And three, to understand the intriguing composition as well as the geology of Europa. Now that would be a huge leap in the field of astrobiology, which will greatly boost our insights into the possibility of other habitable worlds. Fact number eight, Europa Clipper is going to be the largest spacecraft that NASA has ever launched to another planetary system. NASA is leaving no stone unturned to make this mission a breathtaking marvel that will explore Jupiter's planetary system like never before. But there is something that is going to set this clipper apart from other missions. It's the size of the solar panel array, which will stretch an impressive 100 feet, or 30 meters, when deployed. That's longer than our average tennis court. Want to know a fun fact? The size of Europa is around 90% the size of Earth's moon. That means if we interchange our moon with Europa, it would look approximately the same size in the sky as our moon. Fact number nine, the clipper will be followed by a lander. The Europa Clipper mission will pave the way for the highly anticipated Europa Lander mission, which is scheduled for launch in the year 2027. In the past, NASA had considered launching both the orbiter and lander as a single unit. However, a thrilling new proposal emerged in 2016, suggesting a separate and independent lander mission. This lander would reach the icy moon and perform analysis, research and experiments on site, while also searching for biosignatures on the surface. Fact number 10. The cost for Europa Clipper is a whopping $5 billion. It was the National Research Council who recommended a mission to Europa back in 2013. The approximate cost estimate for the mission back then was $2 billion. Then, in 2015, NASA chose nine instruments that would fly on board the Europa Orbiter with a budget of $110 million. By the year 2020, the Europa Clipper spacecraft was worth a whopping 4.25 billion US dollars. With the total value of the contract being about 178 million, this ambitious mission has finally witnessed a cost increase from 4.25 billion to an estimated 5 billion. Now that's pretty huge. Well, exciting times lie ahead in the world of space exploration, pals. Fact number 11. Europa's airless surface is freezing cold. Picture this, you're on a surface that has no air and the temperature is minus 225 degrees Fahrenheit or minus 143 degrees Celsius. And that too during the midday. That is very, very, very cold. Can you wrap your mind around that? We surely can't. The good part is that the ocean beneath Europa's icy exterior is relatively warmer because the presence of salt acts as a natural antifreeze. Now, here's something fascinating. Despite the freezing temperatures and harsh environment, scientists believe this moon has been geologically stable for over four billion years. Can you imagine that? This means that if there is any potential life on this moon, it would have had plenty of time to develop and evolve. Who knows what could be hiding beneath its icy surface? Scientists believe that deep within Europa's rocky core, there could be hydrothermal vents, which serve as a potential energy source for microscopic life forms. 
Moreover, Europa's icy shell is estimated to be between 2 to 20 miles or 3 to 30 kilometers deep. Europa shelters an entire world waiting to be discovered. Maybe we become that lucky generation to discover extraterrestrial life. But what would happen to Clipper after the mission ends? The last fact, fact number 12. Europa Clipper might crash into Ganymede. It turns out that after the end of the mission, the largest spacecraft by NASA would potentially crash into the largest moon in our solar system, Ganymede. But here's the good side of it. Even the demise of Europa Clipper could become a valuable experiment for scientists. As NASA is gearing up to dive into the uncharted territory of the Jupiter system, we are coming closer to the answers to numerous unanswered questions that revolve around our existence and the mysteries of the universe. Well, we just can't wait to witness the incredible findings that await us. What about you? Let us know in the comments what your favorite fact is about this mission. And that concludes our cosmic journey with the Europa Clipper. If this journey ignited your curiosity, remember to like, subscribe, and ring that notification bell. Your support fuels our mission to bring you the latest news in space technology. If you want to know more about some of the most amazing space technologies out there, you can watch one of these videos next. Until our next Cosmic Rendezvous, stay tuned and keep exploring with the Space Tech Gazette.